Romney Malcos currently stars in ABC's A Million Little Things, and he starred in the movies Think Like a Man, 40-Year-Old Virgin, and Baby Mama. Now he's back in action with his latest leading role in Tijuana Jackson, Purpose Over Prison. So I got to decide, do I want justice or do I want freedom? Why not both? Both. You're a vegan or something, huh? And joining us now is actor and director Romney Malco to talk about his newest project as he also makes his directorial debut. Welcome to the show, Romney. Thanks for joining us. Thank, thank you for having me. I appreciate being here. I appreciate you having me and letting me be on here. Yeah, well, I know you're out there in Canada right now working on your show. You have been keeping busy. Uh, has pandemic life been treating you well? I see you have this new movie out, Tijuana Jones, Purpose Over Prison, and it dives right into the struggles many black Americans face, and you've given it a comedic approach. Yeah, I've been doing this character forever, and so, uh, you know, I got to test it on YouTube for a long while, and through YouTube, I learned how to, you know, uh, make the right points without, you know, being preachy. I think that people seem to be more receptive when they're laughing. And this was your first time directing a movie. How was yeah. it to be behind and also in front of the camera? Oh, it was uh, exhausting. It was exhausting. But I really enjoyed every, every bit of it, having the creative autonomy. Look, I think that I do all the big movies and all you know, the studio films and the network television so that I can go off and do my, my passion projects. And this happened to be one of them. And being able to have complete creative autonomy without having to worry about what notes come down from, you know, from the higher ups. It was a very liberating feeling, especially when you're working with Regina Hall, Tammy Roman, Akoya Brunson. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and this movie, it falls under the comedy genre, but there are some of the tough subjects and themes that audiences are going to see in it. Can, can we just rename it? Can we call it a romedy? A romedy? Ooh, look, <laughs> coining your own <laughs> phrase. Hashtag. I, I, <laughs> yeah, you know, and that's the thing. Like, I always, uh, I, not always. Uh, when I was young, I grew up to seeing, uh, you know, seeing comedy and drama meshed into the same projects. But as, you know, as, as Hollywood became more and more about business and less and less about art, people began to, like, separate the two. Like, it's either comedy or either drama. But that's not the life that I live. And that's really not, that, that, that's not the, the art that I most appreciate. So I wanted to do a depiction of life. And, and I always tell people, like, you probably, if you're not in touch with your dark side, you probably shouldn't see this movie, even in 100, because this movie is making light of a lot of darkness. Right, and, and there are tough topics that some people just want to stay away from. What was it like? You mentioned some of your stars, co-stars in the film, like Regina Hall and Tammy Roman. A lot of people know her from Basketball Wives or throwing it way back to the real world. Um, what was it like having them in your project? Well, you know, I think a lot of people look at actors and assume that actors are just all glamour, right? And let me tell you something. Uh, we had a very small budget, so we really weren't supposed to be filming in a lot of locations that we were filming oh. in. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> and so we had we had Regina Hall. And what Regina Hall would do is she would, you know, when the cops would pull up and tell us we had to move, or like a security guard more likely would come up and tell us we had to move, Regina would get out and talk to the security guard and then come back and say, go ahead and film. He's going to make sure nobody messes with it. I'd be like, what, 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 what did you say? <laughs> Well, that's a but good friend to have. She was playing multiple roles. <laughs> it is. And so that's what it was like working with Gina Hall, because she's always funny, always spontaneous, such a professional. We didn't have big trailers on set. She literally sat in her car and studied her lines. And same goes for Tammy Roman. Like, Tammy Roman would, like, uh, she would hang out with us on set, and we would just go, okay, whatever's happening right now, let's keep this energy and flow right into the line. And she was like magic. So... That's what it was like working with those two ladies. Very nice. And, you know, we said Romney, but also we could say mockumentary could be the style of the movie, right? Yeah, it is. It is a mockumentary. Yeah. And I just feel like, man, you know, look, look I, I enjoy all of my work. I don't take a job unless I really enjoy the people and the, you know, and, and the message. But um, I, I'm partial to these little movies that have uh, deep, deep messages and mesh all the drama and the comedy, all the tragedy and the light just meshes it all together. And it was a pleasure to be able to make one of those. Yeah, and it is real life because real life has all of those elements. Now, Romani, tell us who's going to be interested to see the movie, but who needs to see it? OK, that's a good question. OK, so I, I would say that, again, the people probably most interested that will be most interested in seeing this movie are people who have uh, experienced 
you know, what it's like to have been, had run-ins with the law or people who have relatives or live in a community where people are often having these unfortunate run-ins with the law. But the uh, people who need to see it really are the people who are most likely comfortable with having a dark side. I say it all the time. It's a pocket movie, all right? So you gotta be comfortable with your dark side. If you're unable to make light of your dark side, you damn sure ain't gonna enjoy Tijuana Jackson making light of his dark side. And I call it a pocket movie because, I mean, listen, I know that COVID-19 is, is, and this quarantine has been horrific for a lot of people, but it really kind of set the stage along with George Floyd. It kind of set the stage for this movie uh, because I was always uncomfortable with people watching this movie in theaters. I felt as though they wouldn't be comfortable laughing out loud to some of the stuff being said and done in this movie. And I always figured that they'd be better off just watching it on their phone. And um, well, and that's what they can do. <laughs> Exactly. It's a naughty movie, and if you're comfortable watching, and, and, and if naughty. you're comfortable with, there you go. Very so, much. so yeah. How can people see it? Um, you can you can catch this movie on uh, you can catch it on iTunes, you can catch it on Apple TV, you can catch it on Amazon, Vudu, Fandango Now, YouTube. Uh, uh, who am I leaving out? So many people have given us so much love, um, but it's on demand. It's pretty much everywhere. You know, pretty much any digital transaction site you can find, you'll find it there. All right. So streaming services, you can watch it this weekend. Um, what's yeah. next for you? For me, well, I've been in quarantine. Today's my last day of quarantine in Vancouver, British Columbia, because I go back to filming the ABC hit drama, A Million Little Things. Uh -huh. um, and we start actually filming on uh, August 25th, but we're kind of redefining the way in which, you know, movies, I mean, our TV shows will be filmed. It's a whole different protocol Very now. good. And so the law insisted that I be in quarantine for 14 days upon well. landing. In <laughs> well, we will leave you to do that. Thanks so much for chatting with us. It's been a lot of fun. And you can keep up with Romney on Facebook and Instagram at Romney Malco. He is a funny guy.